It's your boy ZD back at it again. And today I'm back looking over the brand new Magic the Gathering set, Bloomboro. The pre-release for the set's already taken place, but it does completely drop on August 2nd. I just wanted to go ahead, look over a few cards that I really like. Mainly, I'm gonna be focusing on the artwork of the cards. I don't know, something about this set is just super cute. Uh, it gives me red wall vibes all the way around. You know, you got little mice, otters, couple badgers trying to fight off a an owl and a cat, you know, it's just absolutely adorable. You got frogs croaking in the bushes and little crickets playing their banjo and a little raccoon trying to steal from your purse. Just beautiful. Let's go ahead, dive on into Bloomboro, and let's see what we can find. Let's start things off strong here with Season of the Burrow, a white card. Um, absolutely stunning. Clearly, you have a burrow, which is just a hole leading into like a home of an animal. And so here we have the snarling flaming mouth of a large wolf creature absolutely wreaking terror on the frog and his little family here his little his little friends so you got the rabbit you got little mousy and her daughter just 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 crying out in anguish here holding each other hoping that the uh the big bad wolf just leaves them the fuck alone but we know better not gonna end so well all right next in white we have life creed duo look at the beautiful duo here we've got a bat we got a bird absolutely harmonious creation i just love this card you know you got the bat hanging onto this branch the bird sort of in a flying position here you got a bee over here maybe a an ant or something over here holding a leaf just the cutest thing one of the cutest cards the bird probably has potions tiny little potions in its pouch uh and the bats opening up wide ready to receive uh, a life-giving berry or or something along these lines uh just a cute little card next up mouse trapper baby so we got a cute little rat here cute little mouse actually throwing what appears to be a bola made out of tiny little seed pods i just like this card you know it shows it mid throw so you get you get to see that bola just swinging as if it's coming right for you you better duck. Star Charter, another beautiful little white bat. I mean, you don't often get to see bats in white and I just love how they've incorporated the bat so beautifully here in Bloomboro. Essentially, we got a cleric churning some energy up, it looks like. Uh, got a little moth hanging out on his hand. Pretty much one of the cutest cards in white, I think, currently. Um, I love the garb. I love the little outfit that the uh, bat's wearing. And in the background, you can see like little houses maybe, you know, little homes. Tiny, tiny little abodes where the little rat people and the little squirrels are sleeping. Lastly, in Y, we got the Drift Gloom Coyote. Ooh, just a scary little elemental coyote here. Chasing down these, these rats, chasing down a little mouse, a squirrel, and a jackrabbit. They're running in fear. Um, if you notice, um, around the neck of the rabbit, he does have a little potion. Got a little mana pot, so he's chilling. He's the squirrel. Also got what looks to be like a really tiny barrel, probably filled with wine or you know alcohol. And of course, he's got his little dagger made out of like a sprig, a little leaf. You know what are they really gonna do against this elemental coyote? I mean, it's gonna be a bad fight. Get out of there, you know. Let's continue on to blue. On to blue. Uh, Eddie Merck crab here just. Ugh, an absolute disgusting creature all around. An elemental crab. Look at its pincers. Aren't they disgusting? Imagine this thing chasing after you. I mean, look, these guys, these otters, you know, they're in like a little steamboat, like a little paddle boat. Chilling. You know, to them, it was a perfectly innocent day. And then boom, a 30 foot tall crab attacks them. Okay, what are they going to do? Probably die, right? Um, I like how also there's like this uh, sort of like roiling vortex, sort of like a like a roiling vortex here in front of the ship, like as if the crab itself is doing some magic to make whirlpools all around the ship. They're definitely not going to escape. You thought that car was disgusting? Look at Eluge the Shoreless Sea. Okay, elemental fish, pretty freaking gross. Uh, if you take a closer look at the actual design of the fish, it resembles like a, a gar, like an alligator gar type fish. Uh, it's got this large, ominous, glowing blue orb of an eye. And just look at what it's doing. So again, we have these little like steam ship, these little like paddle type ships, little paddle ships absolutely getting destroyed. I mean, the wave, the wave is massive. Next car, let's look at another season, Season of Weaving. Now this card really stuck out to me as one of, if not the absolute cutest cards in the set. I mean, just look at it. So right in the center, we've got an otter pulling up some magic, pulling up an essence, 
You know, right beside him, he's got his homie, little froggy, little witch hat on the frog. I mean, mwah. to the other side, a little tiny, little tiny rodent, possibly a mouse, hooded. Um, and then above him, just the cutest little dragonfly, putting his best in, doing what he can. You know what I mean? He may not be much, but he's here, okay? He's here and he's with his friends. That's what matters. Ooh, another little cute frog here in Splash Portal. Okay, this is a sorcery, but it depicts a frog, obviously, using a splash portal. What else? And so that's obviously just some sort of teleportation device. Um, and the frog's using this staff here. It's shooting out these bubbles. And it's using these bubbles in order to teleport through the space-time ebb, which is just marvelous. And he's got this hat on. Cute little wizard hat. He's holding it on because he's splashing through the portal. So, you know, you wouldn't want to lose your hat if you notice carefully here the hat is poking out the back of the portal beautiful card here shore up is next uh, this is a returning card um, with a new artwork i do love the art here how the tiny little rat is basically shoring up and defending against a larger incoming looks to be a flame attack but he's definitely doing his best to stop it and i think he's actually using clamshells if i'm not mistaken carved with runic writing to defend against the uh, oncoming wave of water and flame. Is that all you've got? Put some muscle into it. Ooh, moving on into some really nasty territory here. Coiling rebirth. Yucky stuff. Look at this artwork. I mean, look at this. You got like a half dead tree. A little squirrel high up in the tree, hanging on for dear life on this little rickety branch. All around him are the coiling skeletal remains of these snakes. They're trying to wrap around the tree. They're trying to swirl up this tree to get this little uh, squirrel. You know, they want to eat. Mm. Mm -mm. Next up, we have the Dark Star Augur, a beautiful little black bat here. I mean, it's a little warlock, so he's he's got his garbs on. He's all set up, looking just absolutely ready for battle. Is he channeling a black hole with the force of a bite? Kind of hard to say. Let me know down in the comments. What do you think this guy's doing? Ooh, here we go. Speaking of channeling, we have Dire Sight, which depicts just the cutest little frog. Um, basically whipping up a spell, uh, looking into either the past or the future, probably the future based on what we've seen in previous cards. We've got that flaming wolf head here, burning everything up, destroying everything. And uh, you see it firsthand. Wick the world mind. Okay, we got ourselves a nasty little rat warlock. And if you look closely, this is a warlock who basically is summoning and creating snails. So all around him is just snails everywhere he himself has a very large snail shell he also appears to have a little shell purse around his waist and a shell amulet around his neck beautiful stuff he's hideous i'm not gonna lie to you. he's fucking disgusting his mouth his, his face he's yucky he's just a yucky just absolutely gross little rat guy and aside for the first time in history snail tokens have been created yes this is the first for magic Snail tokens. We have snail creature tokens for the first time. Thank you, thank you to the rat. Next up, next up, we got Blooming Blast, uh, which depicts a little rat dude, a little mouse, uh, with some sort of machine gun, essentially a flower, shooting seeds at mock speed, okay? Which is just adorable. What a beautiful thought, okay? Um, I love the art. I love that the little mouse is giving it uh, like a battle cry, you know? Giving it his all here as he shoots down probably a bat, let's be honest. Let's just take a peek at Emberheart Challenger here. A beautiful little mouse warrior. Not any different than many of our other mouses. You know, wearing like leaves and a little tiny cloak. This mouse happens to have maybe a wand of some kind. And then on the other hand, he just has a blazing uh, a blazing sword. Uh, just a lovely addition. And in the distance, you can see thorns wrapped all around. And what looks to be maybe either a dead or a living snake. And then you have here a pile of just dead refuse and remnants from the snake it's just bird skulls like a rabbit skull yikes ember heart challenger you are in the midst of battle next up we have season of the bold beautiful little hit here 
from a mouse hitting this wolf right in the side. Um, it's really quite difficult usually to depict movement and fierce movements in art. And here you can see it all. You can see the strike, the weight behind the weapon. Beautiful little image all around. I just love all these season cards. The artworks are just so stunning. Next up, we got a cat, Sunspine Lynx here. Beautiful little elemental cat. So essentially, it's just like a bobcat, like a lynx with a fucking volcano shooting out of him. I, you know, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why. He may or may not even enjoy it. I, he looks like he could be in pain. He appears to be melting the surrounding woods. Everything's scorched and dead on this side. The uh, water appears to be evaporating into steam out of this puddle. Just sheer heat coming off of this cat. Ooh, next up we have the handsome lad, cliff top, lookout, a frog, scout, and he's high, high above the land, looking over, scouting through a dewdrop swirled inside of a piece of like leaf or a blade of grass. Next up, Lumra, bellow of the woods, just an absolutely disgusting bear. It's got pine cones strewn throughout its fur. It's looking absolutely snarly as it looks like it's ready to attack these little tiny bunnies. Uh, the bunny over here has a very tiny little bow that you can see peeking out, and this other bunny has a corn cob sword or a corn cob dagger, if you will. Definitely not what you want to be fighting uh, this elemental monstrosity with. Good luck next time, buddy. Camilla the Seed Miser. Ah, here we go. We got a squirrel warlock. So if you notice, the squirrel, she's heading into her house. So her, you know, home's in the background. She's got these like floating steps, levitating stairs that spiral the home. She's emblazoned in this beautiful little dress made out of like dead, dying leaves. As you can see, like the inner veins of the leaves are still there while the flesh has decayed. She's got three or four different bird skulls wrapped around her with just tons of other little bones as well adorning her. Overall, I really love the use of colors. You know, it's obviously a black green creature. It's just so obvious in the artwork. And how can you not love it? Speaking of squirrels you don't want to mess with, we got Corpse Berry Cultivator. This little dude is literally eating berries from a dead body. Little berries are shooting out of this dude's eye socket. And the corpse berry cultivator does not mind. He is gluttonous. Really, really sick card all around. Absolutely cool. Ah, speaking of cool, we got Glarb Calamities Auger. If I've ever seen someone who's cool, it's this motherfucker Glarb. Just look at this frog wizard, noble. He's sitting high on his throne. He's holding on to his sword, which seems to be made out of some sort of bubble, ether, sort of water mixture. And of course, he's got some sort of some sort of staff with a pearl or a bubble attached. He's absolutely the epitome of someone who knows he's in power. Baby, let's go, let's go. Lunar Convocation is next. This card is disgusting. So you basically have these war chariots, right? Being being pulled into war by these little badgers. And the war chariots are housing bats, right? So you got like these sleeping bats hanging on to the chariot. And above the chariot, you have these other bats who are casting darkness magic or some sort of magic, which appears to be, uh, you know, bringing on the darkness, creating a lunar convocation, so to speak. And above, bats are just everywhere, taking over the skies, getting ready to just straight up win this battle. I mean, it's just, it's just sheer terror. You know, if you're a mouse or any other sort of tiny creature and you see this coming, what are you gonna do? Next up, we got Mabel, heir to Cragflame, a beautiful little mouse soldier. She's got her garbs on. She got like little leaves wrapped around her waist. She's got the sword out. It's like some sort of fiery emblazoned rock. You know, I wouldn't say it is fire itself, but it definitely looks like it's possessed with some sort of flames. Around her neck, we definitely got hints from the secret in them, you know, uh, the shiny from the secret in them. She is given the shiny by Nicodemus, and I'm pretty sure that is the nod that we're getting here in this image. Uh, and if not, it's pretty much dead, dead on. So I love the artwork all around, beautiful stuff. I just love how small and meek Mabel looks. But she's just so fierce, you know, so strong, so ready for battle. Next up, we got the infamous Cruel Claw, a weasel mercenary. Um, I just love the card. It's just a cutie pie all around. It's a fucking weasel. How can you not be impressed? It's essentially like an old age sort of buccaneer. You know, he's got his... He's got his weapon drawn, he's got his hood up, sparks flash all around him in the midst of battle. You know, one eye seems to be damaged or closed. Ooh. His uh, blade does seem to have some sort of poison on it, so I'd be careful. I'd be careful. Ah, uh, alright, let's, let's look over some artwork of some lands, shall we? 
I love that the lands have multiple seasons, like spring, summer, fall. That is just an absolute ingenious addition to the set. Looks like a rock face village here. Just a quaint little village. Got one of those little paddle ships here on the left. A nice little river meandering down through this waterfall. Little homes scattered throughout. Little lamp lights keeping everything lit up. Absolutely adorable. I love this little walkway here. Just very quaint. Just a very quaint image here. Yeah, beautiful stuff today. We looked over the Bloomborough set, some of my favorite pieces of art from the new set. I will leave my Patreon on screen and down in the description. Feel free to support the channel in any way you wish. Uh, we do have multiple tier lists on the Patreon. For now, that's going to be just about it. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that little bell to be notified for future videos, and stick around on the channel with some of these fine videos here. And I'll see you next time. Peace.